Hi, this is Colleen Parsons and for Health Assessment, and right now we're reviewing Chapter 17 on breast and lymphatic tissue. Look through your book, go into your book, and really review the anatomy. I'm going to skip through it pretty quickly here. There is no skills assessment for this class for breasts. Obviously, there are lots of assessments available for breast tissue, and that they are very important assessments. You can go into your online resources for your Jarvis text for animation and some other key resources. Skipping through, we are going to talk a little bit about the breast tissue. If you can see, the breast tissue actually goes up into the axillary area. Axillary tail of Spence is an important uh, area to check for uh, tumors or lesions, particularly breast cancer, as many of them will appear there. When you are documenting on anything about the breast, remember that there are four quadrants and the axillary tail of spins. Cultural competence is important because genetics and environmental factors play a key role in the timing of the onset of puberty. Uh, for instance, menses, menses actually begins at just after 12 years old on average for uh, women of color and for Caucasians, it's about 13. Again, you may or may not know that there are actual genetic testing for breast cancer. There are some very specific markers uh, on our DNA that will indicate that there is a high probability that breast cancer will occur in those women. Lifestyle and risk factors also include alcohol consumption, continuation of physical exercise uh, into aging, helps reduce the risk for any cancers, and postmenopausal weight gain negates effects of the physical exercise. So, and many um, oncologists will tell you that if women live long enough, they will get breast cancer. If men live long enough, they will get prostate cancer. Just a matter of when and to what extent and what kind. And that's the end of part one.